Hey, Orange One here. Uh, it's been a little while since I've actually played this game. I've just been really into Kenshi and Cataclysm. I didn't really even want to play this game, but I think it's about time that we get back into the swing of things, don't you? I mean, I just, I really like this game, but the other games, there's been like a lot of new updates that I've just been really, really enjoying. It's, uh... You guys trust me enough, right, that I can actually bring those guns in there now? It's kind of annoying it doesn't remember your quick saves when you go out of the places. So yeah, sorry. I'm getting really distracted. I think I'm going to finish up the Van Graaff story and then maybe go meet Mr. House. I'll go to the strip. I feel like if I don't do this now, I'm never going to do it, you know? I mean, the Van Graaff story is worth worth telling. It's a pretty cool one. And here we go, the most exciting part of the game, traveling through the desert. I mean, there are some cool encounters that you get, but I feel like this part of the map is kind of empty. Like, they did a really nice job filling the, uh, the southern part of the map, but they also kind of force you along a very narrow path. This is much more open-ended. <laughs> Go Veronica. This is why you, especially as a speech character, you want to have an NPC companion. <laughs> oh, right away in a stim pack? Yes, please. Take the 10 mil. Basically because I just want to repair R1. I mean, we didn't really, we could have sold it, but yeah. See, things like that, I actually think look a lot better in Fallout 4, like just the random loot that you find. Some pretty cool stuff that you can find. Oh. Are you the Van Graaff's emissary? Do you have what we requested? We were told there would be no questions. Do you have what we requested or not? Huh. Then our business is concluded. Tell your superiors that we will contact them shortly. Normally, I kind of would push it a little bit more, but I don't want to ruin the Van Graaff contract. They don't seem like people that would, uh... That would go over very well, you know? We'll just be easy going. I wonder if, like, I'd said something if there was a speech option there where I could have taken it back. Probably was. Yeah, the ability to run in this game is something that I think is essential. I really enjoy that this mod lets us do that. Aren't you curious? If you haven't played this game, that strange man is pretty bizarre. You guys trust us now, we don't have to be padded down. That's nice. You got a problem? Welcome back. Did you have news for me? Or are you just here for the guns? And? Don't leave me in suspense. What was their reaction? Good. Good. Here's your payment. If you'll excuse me, I have some thinking to do. Oh. Jean-Baptiste was talking about a matter earlier that he needs help with. I volunteered you. See him for the details. Ah. Just the person I was looking for. Your name came up in a discussion we had recently. My sister is very impressed with you so far, but I'm not. I don't think you have what it takes to work for this family. Luckily for you, I'm going to give you a chance to prove me wrong. What do you say? Want to make some real money? Sounds good to me. All right then. 
If we're going to work together, there's only one thing you need to know about me. I like things simple. Recently, Glory negotiated a deal between us and a big-time player. We're talking more caps than you'd probably see in a lifetime. Your part in this is simple. To finalize this deal, I need to tie up a loose end. To do that, there's a girl I need you to find. I don't know, this sounds a little sketchy, doesn't it? Her name is Rose of Sharon Cassidy. That's some fancy shit, right? Don't know what her mother was thinking with a name like that. But this girl and I, we need to have a discussion. Find her, bring her here, so I can talk to her, one-on-one. -on -one. Really, NCR all around her. Well, tell you what, you find a way to bring her here. She'll want to hear what I have to say. <laughs> you don't want us chatting, trust me. As for the girl, I just want to talk to her. And if you can't bring her here, then you're no use to me or Gloria. So if you want to cause trouble in here over nothing, then go on, try. <laughs> Find her, bring her back here so we can talk. Needless to say, there's some good money in it for you. That's a little sketchy, doesn't it? I don't remember this quest. I remember a lot of this game, but I don't remember having to go get Cass. And it seems like in the real world doing stuff like this it would get someone killed. You know, like she's probably gonna get killed by these people, but I don't think that's the case. I don't remember that happening. Oh. We'll see though. I mean, with our speech, we'll definitely be able to convince her. Either that, or we'll make us do some quests, you know, in old role-playing game fashion. Either have the skill, or you gotta do some menial task, basically. You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? <laughs> Jean Baptiste. Sounds like someone got knocked out of the good book so hard his name broke. Either that, or it's Canadarian or some such shit. So who is this Baptiste, and what does he want? <laughs> Thinks it's Canadian. Canadarian. <laughs> the only Van Graffs I know are the ones out west. Well, except for Gloria Van Graff, and I don't know her all that well. Nor do I want to. Don't have any objections speaking with him. Though if he's with the Van Graffs, he should know I'm not looking to buy weapons. You take care now. So... Do I need to talk to her about something else? You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? Not leaving here until my caravan vapor's clear. Or my title goes away. If you were looking for someone to caravan with, I'd try the Crimson Caravan up north. They pretty much run the roads now. Hmm. What's on your mind? What do I need to do for this? You're looking at it. It's a watering hole without much to brag about. It's like a Brahmin drive gone wrong. It's supposed to be a gate north, but you come here, you get caught in the pen. Better to head back home. If you don't have a gun and a will, don't matter much what you do when you reach here, except stare at that fucking monument outside. <laughs> don't even tell me you missed it coming in. It's like NCR showing its dick to all the East. If the Republic put as much effort into protecting the East as they put into those two asinine giants outside, then they'd be worth that monument. Statues of two men shaking hands covered in blood don't seem to be nothing to brag about. I'm speaking figurative. Isn't any blood on their damn hands. Of course, when Caesar comes walking through here, there'll be blood for real. And after the blood dries in the sun, he'll melt that piece of jet-induced sculpture down and reshape it into a bull, <laughs> which by my reckoning is making up for a deficiency of his. But no matter what the state of his pecker, he's sure giving the West a good fucking. 
It's kind of interesting. I didn't know that you could Once get so much ranger, background about this location. NCR trooper, supposed to represent unification of West and East, or some such shit. As far as those two iron lovebirds go, they've got more spine you'll see in a year from the NCR government. <laughs> huh. Maybe you're right. Broom cats always throw me off. Well, fine, whatever. They can be shaking each other's dicks. Wouldn't change the Mojave now. I'm not What's sure if I'm going to be able to get her to come with me. Maybe you I need to get her caravan me. papers cleared or something? I don't know. Who would I talk to about that? Oh, wasn't there also a quest? I, there was this quest with ghosts that we never actually got done, even though I thought I'd done that in Thanks another episode. Assist. Wish others around here had your drive. No, actually, it looks like we did. I mean, I feel like you can get cast as a companion, but I've forgotten how to do it. So if I got as a com companion to come with me back there, I think that would work. Been doing a lot of good work out there, setting an example for the. I might check online really quick and then see what we can do about this. So I'm not seeing any. Appreciate the help. Wish Anything I had else more that we can do. You, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. All right, give me a minute. I'm just gonna check, and I'll be right back. All right, so it looks like we're gonna have to do a quest for Cass. Well, um, I'm not really sure how we're gonna resolve the quest. I briefly saw something about someone maybe dying in the quest, so I think there'll probably be a speech option to help us avoid that but we'll see you come around like a bad habit what's on your mind if you're looking to sign on with a caravan no traders are bottled up tight here caravan works up north check with a crimson caravan maybe gun runners might have work wouldn't know for sure though still if you got a gun guts and feeling like going on patrol might be some of the soldiers around here have work for you I don't know. Seems to be a lot of attention on Nipton. Word is, one of the snipers in the nest on the roof spotted smoke from the east. Yeah, her name's Ghost or something. Fucking scary. Ooh. <laughs> Guess it's because you'll never see her till you're dead. NCR and their goddamn nicknames. As if Caesar himself's gonna piss and run if he hears them. Anyway, go on and head up top. Ask her what's going on if you haven't already. I don't much give a shit. Jackson might have something for you if you haven't already spoken to that old buzzard. He was looking to try to get troops to clear the North Road. You can find him over in the other building. The one without a bar. What's on your mind? If you're looking to sign on with a caravan? No. Traders are bottled up. Car Jackson might have... He was looking at. Hmm. Maybe we need to get rid of our companion. Let's see. Wow, Mr. House. Why does every. Okay, then I guess I'll be back at the 188. Maybe. See if this if we can you do anything. Like a bad habit. What's caravan? Still, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Do we already have the quest? Maybe. Looks like we gotta go up here. Okay. Might get a little bit sleepy with all this jumping around, but I'll be fine. <clears throat>
Yeah, I don't know if we'll get to Mr. House in this episode if we have to do all this questing. Evening. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. It's been a pleasure. All right, like I said, fetch quest, or not fetch quest, but I guess this is a delivery quest, huh? So we'll take care of this delivery and we'll see what else they've got for us. And I don't think it's like super long. I think that you can get uh, through this relatively quickly. And the doctor I think is in the main building in the camp. From what I remember. Because he's got a interesting quest as well with one of the vaults. One of the more crazy vaults in this game with the plants. Oh. Sounds like our character's getting a little tired. I'm not gonna do anything about those needs though, like the sleep and the water and whatnot. Not not right now at least. Isn't the doctor is he on the first floor? I think he's on the first floor. It's been so long though. Could be wrong about that. Nope, he's here. Here we go. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? <laughs> From Alice. I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? Wonderful. Straight to it, then. Have you signed the release forms? No? Doesn't matter. We'll keep that to ourselves. Vault 22. Where to begin? Eh, I'll give you guys a little bit of background. I don't think I'm going to do this quest now. Maybe we'll come Imagine to another day, though. the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water, and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Precisely. Science has proven that truth a thousand times over, but how many wasteland savages believe it? Present company accepted, of course. The bounty I describe to you is no idle fantasy. It exists in primitive form only a few miles from where we stand. We need only reach out and unlock its secret. For that, the OSI needs you. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your pip boy and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Best of luck to you. Not that you'll need it. You seem like a reasonably competent person. <laughs> He's not telling us the full story though. Ooh. Cybernetic Surgery Standard Edition. Heh <laughs> 
Oh, now we're uncovered though. At least we got that book though, that's a pretty good book. Oh, I think if we take care of our hunger and our thirst, we won't be encumbered though. Didn't we have yeah, we still have a few more stakes. Good. Did Dr. Hildern this really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? I shouldn't say anything. <laughs> I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs, one after another. None of them came back. Then about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius and and he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? <laughs> No, wait. I don't mean to see any harm come to Dr. Hildern. Unless by talk, you just mean talk. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. Isn't right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. Right. Good luck. Maybe I should talk to him again. Yes? Something else you needed? I never said you were. You've been speaking to Williams, haven't you? Not at all. Informed speculation on my part. Williams is very good at her job, so it remains secure. Despite her best efforts. <laughs> no, you aren't the first person I've sent to the vault. I'm sorry that I neglected to tell you, but I don't see how it makes any difference. You want certainty? You'll never find it. Especially not in the pursuit of science. Yeah, that's true. Take my advice. Forget about Williams. She's a talented researcher, but she doesn't understand people, and she can't see the big picture. Now... I know your time is valuable, so I won't waste any more of it. Feel free to show yourself out. <laughs> That's his way of saying, get out of my office. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll probably do that quest down the road, but I just don't really feel like it right now. I want to finish up what we got started here with working for the Crimson Caravan. Where are our quests? Probably gonna be pretty sleepy though pretty soon. Oh, we could go back to the Atomic Wrangler and sleep there. We do have a room there now. It's always good in these games when you can get a, a place. Especially when you're playing on survival and you actually need to take care of your needs. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back. Looks like she has a little whiskey under her bed. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family <laughs> connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. Well, there's actually quite a bit going there's on here. There's a small trading outfit. Cassidy caravans that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave outpost. The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back oh, in Redding, California, California. That's funny. and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. 
As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out <laughs> for the job. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes. And because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. Yep, the sounds good to me. The quality of the Gunrunner's armaments is due to their manufacturing process. They craft all weapons on site. I want to know the secrets of their manufacturing process, which means you'll need to find some way to get inside their heavily guarded factory. I would greatly prefer that you perform this job undetected and without killing anyone, if it can be helped. I wonder if there's a way Thanks. to do that using speech. Was there something else? It's been a pleasure. Evening. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do the corporate espionage because we're not too super like sneaky, but we should be able to at least do the um the quest with uh Cass. That way then we can get her to come with us and finish the thing up with the Van Graphs. I did say I was going to do that originally. I keep on getting like just completely sidetracked. I feel like this cat's with like a laser pointer, you know? I'm just like running around. I'm like, ooh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Talking. I, I really do like a lot of the dialogue in this game. And the options that they give you. They don't really force you down like a single road like a lot of other games. Hey. You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? They want to buy Cassidy Caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. <laughs> New Reno's a place in one of the old games. It's kind of funny. Mojave happened. Hit by raiders packing some heavy firepower. Can't believe the Crimson Caravan haven't heard. So if you want to buy all of Cassidy Caravans, you're looking at it. And what I got in my pockets. Still, as little as that is, not looking to sell. If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. <laughs> Dad would spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right. Trading history for a slip of paper. <laughs> that's... Yeah, that's... I'm gonna go with the speech 75. What did you just say to me? Because you sure as hell got my attention now. Hahaha. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. But there's been that voice inside me saying the same thing, and whiskey wasn't killing it. Give me that paper. I'll put my name to it. No sense trying to hold the past between your fingers when it's nothing but dirt. All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel kind of relieved, actually. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. No idea. Maybe head back west? Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. Go with you? And why the hell would I do that? So you're looking for someone to help, not just tag along. Huh. Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. Alright, I'm in. Nice. So she is actually the daughter of one of the characters from, I think, Fallout 2. Oh. Careful if we go off the road. Who was also a little bit of an alcoholic, we but an quiet. awesome character. The Legion can count on that. But 
yeah Cass I think a lot of people really really like because she's just like super cool like cowgirl but I hope hopefully she doesn't get killed by the Van Graffs. we'll see I think there's a way of talking it out so that we don't have that go that way there isn't we'll just reload I think I think that knowing the way they designed this game, there's probably a way of doing this non-violently. I mean, it is a side quest as well, so I could be wrong. Not everything in the game can be resolved without violence, but most things can. Especially with the high speech. Or being able to sneak, like you could sneak your way into that one place. Um, sounds like something's going down, down the street. Okay. Let's see if we can have her talk with... Hello. As I live and breathe, Rose of Sharon Cassidy, the late Rose of Sharon Cassidy, was hoping you were on that caravan I massacred. Oh. But Crimson Caravan and Van Graffs won't need to worry about you anymore. Wahhabi's ours, and we're shutting you down for good. Really? We'll see about that. Oh, actually. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna either have to have her get killed or kill these people ourselves. Mm. Maybe we won't do this quest. It's kind of a bummer that we did all that to not resolve it. Yeah, but we can't we can't break the theme of this playthrough. We're trying to do this non-violently. Well, anyways, I think I've been recording for a little bit over a half hour, so I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for joining me. This has been Orange One. <clears throat>